Hello, hello. Thank you for having us. Uh, my name is Eric Scott. My name is Sasha Fornis. And we are Legal Ease, where we want to empower your legal clarity. <laughs> um, raise your hand if you've ever gone to the terms and condition and just clicked right away, oh, I've read it, without actually reading it. That's yeah, most of us. We do it also. So we basically went to create an idea that solved that problem of just going over the document, and maybe skimming over it, missing key information that could potentially be very detrimental to what we're trying to accomplish. Our solution is legal ease. Um, our objective is to simplify and um, uh, with our our objective is to simplify complex language um, that can be easy to understand for college students and uh, small business owners alike, and I'm gonna get into that in a second. So small business owners, we've had a, a chance to you know, start our small business, and we've run into a lot of documents and trying to figure out what would be the best LLC to get, and it's just been a real confusing process for us. Um, and also being a college student ourselves, um, we you know run into documents loans that we would like to understand better but you know just don't really know what it is coming out of high school so you may be asking why this is needed so a newly released federal trade commission data shows that consumers reported losing more than 5.8 billion to fraud in 2021 Yes, a lot. <laughs> a Deloitte survey also shows that 2,000 consumers in the U.S. found that 91% of people consent to legal terms and service conditions without reading them. As you can see, this is evident that a lot of people read the first line, they understand it, they assume the rest of the document they can comprehend, and that's just not the case. So how does it work? Basically, when we think about the legal documents that we will be looking at, it's going to have different sections and different parts that need to be broken down. What you'll be able to do is submit that document in a PDF form, take a picture of it, screenshot, and be able to have that text analyzed. The AI um, will be able to analyze that information, break it down, and be able to spit back out information in very simple terms that will be readable for our users. Um, getting more into how the AI technology will work, uh, basically what we'll be able to do is have each each time you put a document in, it'll gather that information, and it'll take that information and integrate it into what your next response might need, what your next response after that might need. Um, we hope this can be a very user-friendly app uh, we want this to be, honestly, for all age ranges. We definitely want to focus on small business owners, but a small business owner can be, you know, my Nana sitting over there in her 70s, and she's great at, uh, you know, navigating through the different technology that we have today, but every once in a while I even get calls to, you know, help her out, and she is appreciative of that, and I would like to be able to give her an app. Oh, look at this. I can, you know, get my uh, bills done. Information um, can be read easier. Um, we have thought about competitors a lot. Our biggest competitor will be ChatGBT, um, being that you can put information in there and they'll spit out whatever you want. Um, but if you've ever used ChatGBT, you'll know that when they spit back out their information, it can often be very sporadic and it can be all over the place. What we want to do with legalese is have it be concise and short and sweet to the point. Bonjour, je m'appelle Sacha. Je sais qu'il y a beaucoup de personnes qui ne connaissent pas que je parle français. <laughs> Can I get a raise of hands of anyone who understood that fully? I don't see anybody raising their hands. I don't see anybody raising their hands. Well, that's what a lot of college students face when they're looking at these legal documents. We have no idea what they're saying. <laughs> okay. Which is why this app would be perfect. Eric and I have both faced these issues when signing documents that we just don't understand, which is why this app comes from a special place in our hearts. Now you understand that Legal Ease is an app that you upload legal documents, but you may not know the full details of the structure. Well, you may be asking how it benefits us. We have two sets of subscriptions. Subscriptions. We have a $3.99, which is a basic subscription, which would allow users to upload up to two pages worth of documents. And you can take a picture. You don't have to just 
upload it to a PDF and scan it and copy and paste it. You can actually take a picture, not only for a personal iPhone user, but also for oh, yeah. an Android user, which is yeah, what Eric. Yeah. I have an Android. I have an Android. Yes. <laughs> we sec the second tier would be a six ninety nine subscription. This would be even more beneficial because this comes with a paralegal. This would be somebody who you could get one-on-one -on -one advice with, especially if you have more than two pages. And you can personally ask them questions and have that one-on-one -on -one time, which you can't do that with ChatGPT. Yeah. Also with our competitor, ChatGPT, Chat they were last updated in January of 2022. Ours is a newer system. Yeah. You don't want to read <laughs> lingual information and not, not be updated. You might find yourself in a situation you don't want to be in. Exactly. So we have an example. In the event that any payment or benefit by the company, all such payments and benefits, including the payments and benefits under Section 3A, hereof being hereafter referred to as the total payments, would be subject to exercise tax, then the cash severance payments shall be reduced. What? Eric, do you know what that means? <laughs> what is that? I don't even know what you're talking about. Tell me. Well, with our app, it will give you, you can upload your document, and it will spit out words that were hard for, to understand and give you those definitions, and then give you a simplified version of what you put in there. So, in essence, this provision is designed to address potential tax implication related to the specified payment and benefits and it outlines a mechanism to manage or minimize any exercise tax that may be applied. Eric, does that sound better to you? That sounds a lot better. I think I know what you're trying to get at now. Good. <laughs> well, that's why this app would be perfect for you. Thank you. Any questions, please? First of all, great job on the presentation. Thank you. One of the things that I want to ask as a uh, an entrepreneur myself uh, in the cybersecurity space, one of the things that I didn't see or hear was the security measures that are put in place because you're dealing with legal documents. Yeah. So I'm, I'm curious to know, one, what is your, uh, mm -hmm. your measures toward that? And then uh, looking at the scalability, what are your plans on scalability? Because this is something that I see can be very useful but I also see something that can be that can grow uh, fairly quickly. So I was curious to see have you guys thought about the scalability aspect as well. Well, thank you for those questions. Uh, I'd like to address the first question um, by first starting to say we did have in a previous slide, just didn't get to address it, uh, kind of skip past it. Um, but basically on the slide, uh, it had that with our legalese app, um, we find that a lot of apps have been, you know, getting caught for selling their users information recently. And we definitely won't want to run into any problems like that. And there's also a big security um, breach where you know dealing with people's legal documents that something very personal to people. So in our in our own contract, when they sign on, it'll have a detailed outline of the kind of security measures we'll have, such as you know the pen will have to be the password will have to be a certain amount of characters, certain um, you know specifications, and other security measures like that we'll have. Um, and then. You said on the back end? Back end. That's, that's where you, you find your troubles, on the back end, because hackers get into that. That's mm -hmm. the data that they're looking for is on the back end. Cause you're capturing people's information, credit card information, because they're, they're doing subscriptions. So mm -hmm. you know, if you haven't thought about that, that's something that you definitely want to make sure you take a look at. And uh, yes, definitely get back to you on that. Thank well, you. I think that's a good point. I think that's kind of what Eric was kind of alluding to as far as like when you upload your document, it's secure just to get into, to see your document. Um, also, because we are newer and smaller, as, as a short term, we would be interacting with, on the legal side, talking with um, paralegals and lawyers, oh, yeah. and then long term, we would have more opportunity to make sure that our systems are secured on an egg from the AI technology aspect, because we don't want to just use AI, we want to use our own AI technology moving forward, long term. Great presentation and great idea. Uh, one of the things you mentioned about was the competitors that uh, the competition is in this area, yes. and you mentioned your pricing. How did you come, up, uh, come, up, come about determining how the pricing structure would be? Um, so we first asked ourselves what kind of revenue we would want to intake in doing this. 
Um, and we would like this to be as, as available to as many people as possible. Um, however, we saw like a business model. Uh, we tried to think of you know doing sponsorships. It just didn't work for our kind of business model. So then we you know tried to brainstorm more. The, um, I also had on the slide up there there would be like a uh, call it freemium, uh, like a free uh, aspect of the app, but it'll be just you know limited usage of that app. You won't be able to you know get the one-on-one -on -one talk with like a paralegal. You just probably get the AI information spit out at you. Great presentation. Another question for you. Uh, a lot of these documents are going to be federal documents, yes. right? We have a requirement to translate every document into 35 different languages at the request of a user, right? Mm -hmm. What is your plan to satisfy the hundreds of languages that we have in this country? Um, so we'll first work on getting to that minimum requirement, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, me, myself, I would like to learn other languages, but uh, getting more to the question, um, there are a lot of languages, and we, do, we would like to account for that. Um, even in our own school at Xavier, uh, we have a lot, very diverse population for an HBCU um, of you know, people from out of the country and from different states and everything, just you know, different uh, languages they speak. And that is definitely something we uh, thought about. So with um, the AI that we use, uh, it's, it's going to be built in already. But when we, like she said earlier, build our own AI, we'll be kind of using that model to also build our own AI, um, basically learn from our competitors kind of thing. My last question. Uh, I have a lot more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, We're ready. Yes. But what I need to know is what will be in your terms and conditions that are different? That is a very good question. Very good question. <laughs> oh. Definitely have to do more research. Yes. But as far as terms and conditions, ours would be easier to comprehend for students. Yeah. We want people to understand that your information is not going to be sent out. Because a lot of times, when people read those terms and conditions, on the bottom, it will say, oh, we're going to share your information so that we can get more data. Well, we don't. We already have that data. We've learned from the competitors. So your information will not be sent. And that's really what we want to emphasize. That's really what we've seen attracts people. Oh, good to know that my information won't be sent out to a pool of data just so you can benefit from that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lee.